Now, finally, here we are. This is the video that you've been asking me. Hey, good Joseph, go ahead and talk about index funds. What are they? How do they work? How can I invest? And by the way, I've been talking about that thing. And guess what? Today's the video I'm going to go ahead and talk about index funds and how exactly can you be invest on that? And what are the advantages of actually getting into the index funds? What does it entail about? I'm going to share everything. I'm not going to leave any stone unturned on this video. And if you're the one of guys who are telling me to make this video, Come on, go ahead and like the video and make sure that you subscribe on this channel and make sure that you put a comment out section in the section below. And by the way, don't forget to as well, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I do upload a video of investments method and how to make money in terms of investing and also financial management. That's what I talk about. If you're first time watching me, thank you for that. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your eyeballs. Let's get into the business. Now, point is this, the big question is this, what is an index fund or what is index fund? Because I know most of you guys are used to something called the shares or the stocks, depends on how you call it, all right? And now another new term comes in, it's an investment method because I'm here to talk about investments. Now, what is an index fund? What does it entail about? Now, here we are, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of exactly how the index fund works and how you can get started, okay? Now, this is how the index fund works. Now, See, when we talk about shares or stocks, let's say we can have a company X, Y, and Z. All these are companies that you can actually buy shares for, okay? Now, what happens if you decide to buy shares or stocks of a given company? Let's say you decide to buy shares of a given the company called X. And let's say the company X maybe talks about or maybe deals with the telcos, okay? Now, the point is this. So, when you buy shares of this given company, it means now your shares are actually confined within that specific company. So, if this company actually performs better, if it performs better, then it means that your shares or the capital gain goes up, the capital gain, okay? Capital gain means like if you buy shares at 10, let's say you buy shares at $10, one share, and maybe there's an increment to maybe let's say at $12, maybe that means there is an increment of 2 dollars okay now that is what we call the capital gain and then there is something called the dividends the dividends is when this company makes a profit and once it makes a profit it divides a particular percentage of that given profit with the shareholders what you get at the end of the year it is called the dividends now you see you bought shares of a single company called company X. Okay, now when we talk about index fund, now this is a very different concept whereby instead of now buying a shares of this single given company, that is company X, now the index fund, this is how it performs. It's like a basket, okay? It's like a basket. And in this basket, instead of now buying the shares of, or instead of monitoring the shares of given single company, so all these companies are put together in one basket. Uh, you can have YT, uh, you can have W, P, M, N or whatever so you having a multiple companies put together collectively in one basket and now these all these companies are actually put one together in one basket now this is what we call an index okay this is what we call an index instead of buying shares of one given company now these all companies are put together a number of companies are put together all right and then their collective performance are monitored by or the, the, the collective together, the, that collect collection together, it's called the index. And now this index is usually monitored by something called the ETF, okay? ETF is simply called, or it means extended traded funds. Extended, extended traded funds, okay? Extended traded funds in this sense means like, this is an investment product. It's an investment, investment product, Okay, it's an investment product whose work is to monitor the performance of a given index. First of all, index is a collective, it's a collection of different companies put together. Okay, for example, in Kenya, we have an index fund called NSE20. NSE20 simply means 20 companies put together. NSE25, we have NSE25. All right. If you come from America, there is a certain uh, index fund called, uh, let me use a different color for us to uh, have a difference. Now, there is an index fund called S&P, S&P 500. Do you know what that, is, that means? It means this is an, uh, 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 this is a what? This is an index fund that actually monitors, this is an ETF that monitors 500 different companies. Right now, see what happens is like different companies are put together and then they are monitored. Now, that specific investment product that now perform or rather monitors 
or monitors or what we call it tracks the performance of this index is called the extended traded funds so what you do you buy an etf but in real sense what you are doing is to do what what you're doing in real sense you're actually buying the index fund instead of buying a single a company now for example let me use a last example for uh, for me to explain my point for those who understand football let me use the football for example i'm gonna use a popular one like the english premier league okay so we have like different uh maybe teams for example we have like a teams okay 18 teams here we have the manchester united we have the liverpool chelsea whatever all those companies okay now the point is the instead of now buying shares of a single this is now epl epl is made up of 18 teams whatever you can verify that okay i'm not really a football fan of those things now the point is this now these companies or this these teams instead of buying shares of a single team you buy the epl team the entire stretch of thing instead of investing hey my shares are bought on the arsenal my shares are bought about the the, the liverpool or whatever now instead of that you buy the entire EPL team where all those teams are put together. Now, that's what we call the index fund. And this is what makes people, most of the people prefer to invest on index fund compared to stocks. Why? Because now, this company, let's say there are 500 of them, okay? There are 500 companies put together in a single basket. Now, what happens if a company, let's say, performs or goes below a certain expectation or a certain threshold, it's actually kicked out? So the moment a company performance does not meet whatever it's actually uh, ought to have met, then it's actually kicked out and another one is added out top of that. So therefore it means, let's say out of the 500 companies, let's say two or one company is actually underperforms. If it, the company underperforms, then it means that company is actually kicks, kicked out of that specific basket. So your investment is act actually safe. Do you know what they say in America? They say that S&P 500 has actually have an annual average rate of 10% and above returns for the last 50 years without it going below for the last 50 years it has actually been performing over 10 percent for the last 50 years so the index fund what happens is that you're distributing the risks out there all right let's go to the next point the next point now after now understanding what are index funds now the question is this what are some of the advantages before we go to how to join stick around so that you get understand how exactly you can be able to join an index fund now some of the advantage of the, the index fund is what we call the liquidity the liquidity here is simply means that you can be able to go ahead and be able to liquidate your your index and be able to get the money getting your money back from your investment is not a complicated process because actually the index funds are usually at a high demand so liquidity is that aspect of you having having the cash money with you at any given moment. So you can be able to liquidate your, 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 your funds or rather you can be able to liquidate your index funds and what have you or ETFs for that matter. And therefore you can be able to go ahead and do what? And be able to get your cash back another thing about the why people love this in the uh, index fund is because of something called diversification and that is what i was actually explaining on my point diversification the point whereby you're not investing on a single company so the performance of a single company cannot alter your money or cannot have like significant difference because you are now banking on others and if that company goes ahead and underperforms below the expectation therefore it means the company can actually be kicked out of that given a basket of in of index fund and another one can be introduced into that specific basket of income so it means that that each and given company in that specific index fund they must try the best that they can to make sure that they perform they actually work as the best as they can now the other one another advantage of getting yourself into this is something called regulation regulation in kenya and i'm going to refer this to kenya in regulation in kenya these index funds are actually regulated by a body called capital market authority of kenya go check from your country what body regulate the index funds when you're investing and obviously, when you talk about uh, Capital Market Authority of Kenya, it means that people's money or rather the certain rules and regulation must be followed. Uh, for example, say if maybe they say a certain amount of money has to be paid or maybe let's say by this time they have to be paid this or maybe where are you investing this money or maybe how the company performs or maybe all those rules and regulation just in the sense that to make sure that all the investors are secured and their investments are actually safe and secured. So those are the nitty gritties that you need to understand. And the last one, if I may say, so it's something called the flexibility. This offers that flexibility when you're investing your cash, when you do so through what we call the index funds. Now, there are different types of index funds, again, uh, that you can get yourself into. It is, you know, I always tell people before rushing into how to invest, it's good to understand what you want to invest. Remember, there is a whole video that I made and I told you guys. 
avoid rushing into investments just because you feel like you're missing out and you invest into a thing that you do not understand it's always good when you understand fully about a particular package of investment so that by the time now you say hey guess what i'm gonna go ahead and invest in that particular thing you already know this is how it performs this is how it works this is when to know when it is not working better this is when to know how to get myself out of it and when to get myself into it so guys let's go ahead and actually get to understand there are types of different what we call Again, I said an ETF, an ETF monitors the performance or tracks the performance of a given index. And I've said that index fund, it can be an index fund about the stocks, it can be index fund about commodity, it can be index fund about a bonds, it can be index fund about the money market funds and all those kind of things. Now, what happens here yeah, that we have different types of uh, index funds. We have something called the, 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 the index fund ETFs, index fund ETFs, uh, index funds ETF, okay? And then the, this index funds ETF, uh, those are the one of the popular index funds. And then we have index funds that are called commodity uh, index fund. We have the commodity. In Kenya, like we have this one commodity. I would mention the company unless maybe you get that number of mine when you want to have what you call a premium service. You can get that number from the description of this specific box or rather video. And then you can call me. I can be able to tell you uh, what are these companies that offer these ones. Okay. The commodity ETFs, the commodity ETFs that are index funds, whereby it's a companies that pull to Together resources, then they monitor the commodities, like likes of the gold, likes of the oil, and all those kind of things. So those are the commodities. So collectively, when they are put into one basket, now you can actually invest in invest in such kind of an index fund or an ETF for that matter. By the way, index fund and ETF are used are interchangeably because ETFs are the one that monitors index fund. So what you do, you buy the ETFs that monitors a certain index fund, but by default, it's like you own that index fund. I hope I'm not losing you along the way. So now the commodity ETFs monitors commodity such as gold, such as silver, such as oils, and all those kind of things. And now we have another ETF that is called at the... Um uh, the stock ETF. The stock ETF, this is the most popular one, and I bet that's the reason why you click on this video. Uh, the, the, the stock ETFs, the stock ETFs. The stock ETF simply means these are different shares. Eh? These are different shares of different company, of different company are actually put together or pulled together pulled together in the sense that they want to make some cash out of it. For example, I was giving an example of company XYZ. So companies XYZ are put together and in that collective, you need now to, they are called what we call the stock ETFs. So these are ETFs or the extended, uh, extended traded funds that monitor the index of different stocks. All right, and this is a this is a ETF that monitors the performance of a certain index that monitors the commodities and so and so and so forth. Now the other thing that now we go into the point of now how do I join? How do I get started on index funds? And I'm gonna refer to the procedures. If you're a Kenyan, then you can be able to do this specific thing. So the first thing that you need to have for you to invest on these ETFs, you must have what we call the CDS account. And the CDS account, you must this CDS account according to the rules and regulations of Kenya, the CDS account must be opened by what we call the stock brokers. The stock brokers. The stock brokers are actually regulated institutions or bodies that can actually open you a CDS account. Because what happens if this is you here, you want to have a CDS account, there is a certain body in Kenya called the CDSQ or something of sort. Um, this is a body Check, it, check about that. So uh, this is a body that actually opened the CDS account, but as an individual, you cannot approach it directly. So what you do, you approach the broker. The broker opens now that specific uh, index or open that CDS account for you. Now, all what you need to have for you to open this uh, CDS account, you need to have a KRA pin. Uh, you need to have an ID and you need to have what we call the passport photo. Uh, the passport photo okay a passport photo of you and now what happens is that if you're maybe say you're a non-kenyan you can still invest on this because uh maybe you can invest so through as a nominee of a given bank you can invest as a nominee of a given bank if you can approach any bank a kenyan bank out there are uh, the most popular banks i won't name the names therefore you can be able to go ahead and invest on these particular examples of this index fund so i said you need a cds account for you to open a cds account you need a stock broker stock broker and then the stock broker now now opens you the CDS account uh, to from the, the CDS queue. You can confirm the actual name and you need these documents for you to go ahead and invest on this specific thing. And you can do so online. There is no problem with that. Anyway, if you need my any premium services as far as the index funds are concerned, who are the stock brokers? Where do I get them? How do I contact them? And all those kind of nitty gritties. Come on, go ahead and pick that number of mine from the description of this specific video. Shoot me 
a call. Let's get started. Let's do business for just a cup of coffee price for now. It's a good buy and don't forget like the video, hit it out there and make sure that you share this video with your friends and families out there. See ya.